Hey everyone, life is uh, pretty stressful in 2022 and just in general. So I thought today I would take this time to talk about how I deal with stress uh, and what I literally do to cope with stress. This isn't going to be a video to talk about how you need to manage stress properly and you need to talk about stress with other people and make sure that you seek help. All those things are very important. You need to meditate, but these are things that I actually literally do when I'm stressed. I'm going to start with the things that I do that I think are kind of bad things that I do that are relatively okay, but also have issues on their own. And the things that I do that I think are pretty positive and I would advise you guys to try if you can. Let's start with the bad things, probably the worst. The worst is I stress eat a lot. When I get stressed, I tend to go down the street and go to the little pizza dolly, grab two slices of cheese pizza, get some hot Cheetos, get a bottle of Coke and chug that down in like five minutes and feel pretty bad about myself. Uh, stress eating is bad in the sense that afterwards you feel bad, during it you feel kind of good, as you eat more and more it feels even worse, there's more stress associated with the fact that you just ate pretty crappy food and you have to burn it off. Working out gives me even more stress, so it's a big snowball of stress and I think a recurring theme you'll see across all these bad things that I do to deal with stress is that these activities causes me to have even more stress than relieve the stresses. The next thing that I do is watch videos, and sometimes I watch videos in uh, joint with eating, which is even worse. Uh, watching videos is a huge waste of time, and I've, as I've expressed before in one of my videos, it's a lot better to create content than to consume content. It's even worse to consume food and consume content at the same time. A lot of wasted time that you look back on and think, I could have done literally anything else to relieve the stress, and in fact, I'm even more stressed. My eyes are stressed, and my brain is stressed now. I tend to overthink about the stress when I'm stressed which also doesn't resolve anything. It's good to reflect and it's great to think about solutions, but when you're stressed, you are in a certain type of perspective. You have lenses on that prevents you from thinking clearly and effectively. As you continue to stress and think about that stress, you thinking about that stress causes even more stress. Overthinking never resolves anything. I've never had a time in my life where I thought about stress and that stress magically went away or I resolved the stress as a result of thinking through it. I sometimes sleep when I'm stressed, uh, and this isn't like actual good sleep where I close my eyes and rest and then I wake up fully relieved or relaxed. I am constantly thinking about the stress through the sleep. I'm sweating. I'm sleeping at awkward hours. It ruins my sleeping schedule. Long story short, the sleep doesn't help. In fact, it makes it even worse, um, and you are no longer relaxed, not recharged. I would highly advise against sleeping when you're stressed unless you're actually physically stressed and you need the rest. I used to, when I was a lot younger, and by a lot younger, I mean a couple of years ago, scream into pillows when I get stressed. I would put my face down into a pillow, make sure that I'm muted properly, and just yell and sometimes cuss and say things that I probably shouldn't say. I think this is somewhat okay. I don't think there's anything massively negative other than the fact that you look like a loser and you kind of feel immature, but you're not really hurting anyone else as long as no one can hear it. I still advise against it because it's not really a adult mature thing to do, but sometimes when you really need it, you need to scream your heart out and get it out. There's actually studies shown that cussing uh, makes your life longer and actually does reduce stress, but always bad to say bad words. One of the last things I do uh, when I'm stressed is I take showers, um, and these are pretty long showers in which I overthink again. And I don't think the showers are that bad in the sense that uh, you're also not hurting anyone, you're not hurting yourself, but it is somewhat wasted time, you are wasting water, and oftentimes, of course, you feel relaxed and there's some level of physical stress that you get rid of, but stress does not magically go away after showers, and you shouldn't be dependent on these things. I think the recurring theme for bad things, the things that I do to relieve stress that are not very great, is the fact that it only makes the stress worse, if not creates other stresses of their own, and also just elongates the stress and makes it uh, stretched out and it allows you slash enables you to depend on things as a means of relieving stress instead of fighting it slash resolving it. The middle tier thing that I think is positive but also negative and has its faults that I do a lot is calling friends and family about stress. I am someone that likes to show off and, and come off as strong and act like there's no problems. But realistically, as all of you guys know, I have tons of problems. And most of my friends and family know that I like to put up this front. But in reality, I'm kind of a softie. So they're ready at many times for me to complain. But when I'm stressed and when I'm complaining, I'm not very fun or easy to deal with. And I know that. And I'm sure a lot of friends uh, and family have been often turned off by the fact that I am an endless complainer when it comes to stresses and issues in my life, oftentimes which are first world problems that really aren't worth complaining about. I think this is healthy in the sense that you're 
still establishing a relationship. There's something being gained by continuing to establish that trust with someone. But the negative is that the people listening to it probably aren't having a great time, especially if you're a constant complainer and you're complaining about things that, frankly, don't matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, the good things that I do uh, are walk and listen to music. I think that really stress a lot for me. I'm really into music and just listening in general, walking around, getting around people as an extrovert. Constantly being near people is very important for me to de-stress. Uh, you get a bit of an exercise in, understand the neighborhood a bit more, get good breeze and get the sun, at least in the summer. I think walking and listening to music is something that I gained as a skill slash measure to get rid of stress during COVID, especially. Especially if you live in the city, it's great to just get out and interact with people, even if it's just smiling at them or waving hello. Another thing uh, as a Christian, as a man of faith that I do is pray. I seek God's help, uh, tell them about my problems, and hopefully achieve some answers. Many times there seems to be no response, but at the end of the day, I think just communicating to the Lord about what you're going through is highly efficient, highly important, and something that every Christian should always do. Another thing that I do is read, um, and I would like to say I read the Bible when I'm stressed, but oftentimes I just read in general. I think it's good to get your mind off of the stress. A lot of times you're so focused on the stress, you forget, you forget to realize that there's plenty of other things happening in life that aren't revolving around that stress, and that stress in the grand scheme of things is not very important. One last thing that I like to do when I'm stressed that maybe is a slightly negative, but overall I think it's quite positive, is uh, stream on YouTube or create content. I think getting my mind off of things and doing something that I'm passionate about, which is talking in front of a camera, uh, really helps with the stress, makes me feel productive and get out of this discomfort zone of being stressed. I know I promise to not talk about philosophical things and be more practical, but one thing that I want to think about, uh, one thing that I want to challenge you guys to do, something that I always do in terms of my stress, something that I started doing a couple of years back, especially during my banking days, is to think about when will the stress be over slash when will the stress become irrelevant and elongate that, elongate that period more and more and more. So for example, in the beginning, I thought to myself, is this stress going to bother me in an hour? And if that bothered me in an hour, then I'm willing to let it stress me out because it's probably kind of important. But if it doesn't, then I'm going to let it go because time will naturally solve it. In an hour, this won't be a problem anymore. More and more, I began to elongate that time line, that time uh, span and thought to myself, is this going to bother me in a week? Is this going to bother me a month? Is this going to bother me in six months, a year, five years, 10 years? And as that becomes more and more and more, and I'm becoming more and more patient and enabled to take more time and be able to understand that if this doesn't bother me in end periods, then it shouldn't bother me at all because time will truly be the testament, the solution to these issues then there's no need to stress about it right now. In fact, there's no need to stress about it, period, because stressing isn't going to solve it. It's important to make yourself better. It's important to work on yourself so that you don't stress about those things later on. But if something is stressing you right now, if you're going on a flight tomorrow and you're worried about missing that flight, but you know for a fact that you'll still try your best to make that flight, and in a day, whether or not you made that flight or not, of course it will affect you, but nothing you do right now, the stresses that you put on yourself right now can't change the fact of whether or not you're going to be late or not to that thing. I think being able to think in those increments, being able to elongate the time and being better and better at dealing with stress at a level where you're recognizing its priority, its importance, its significance, and being able to prioritize the correct stresses is quite important. I think secondly, countless studies have shown that stressed people, people that... Uh, get stressed. Of course, it's important to manage that stress, but just in general, if it gets stressed, are highly successful. Stress gets you to work harder, change your life habits, uh, make growth plans in your life, and interact with people in meaningful ways. I think stress has been uh, something that has been marketed slash uh, positioned in a bad way. Of course, stress uh, only causes stress, quite literally. But at the same time, if you're able to manage stress and channel it correctly and have means to combat it properly, I think stress can serve as a great catalyst for getting you to become a better person, a better employee, better friend, better family member, um, a better Christian. I think stress is something that we're all meant to have, we're born to be with. Um, it's just a matter of growing the right calluses slash um, muscles to deal with it properly. Uh, today I talked about uh, what I do to manage stress. Of course, there's other things that I do, just uh, simply zoning off and not thinking about it, trying not to think about it, meditate. Long list can go on forever, and I'm sure it'll change as I get older, but uh, as always, I, I thank you guys for watching. If you're stressing, uh, try one of the things that I, I do, uh, especially the good things. If none of those work for you, um, maybe uh, try yelling into two pillows instead of one pillow. I'm sure you will be 
great and managing stress as you continue to deal with life. And if you can't, remind yourself that stress is a measure of success in certain ways. And at the end of the day, none of these things will matter um, because all will end at some point. But just took a very dark turn. Don't think about that. Enjoy life. Don't be stressed. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's go.